Catherine spotted parking outside McDonald's store with George's former nanny. Kate was snapped pulling up to a roadside McDonald's on the way from Windsor to Kensington Palace in London. She was accompanied by Prince George and Prince William's childhood nanny, Jessie Webb. The Princess of Wales made the pit stop to feed her little one as she received some assistance from Jessie Webb, who was the beloved caretaker of her husband and Prince Harry when they were growing up. Catherine was dressed casually in a green tweed Ralph Lauren hacking jacket as a white short sleeve tee and a pair of black jeans on 2013. When Prince George was born, William and Kate have made a decision to hire an Annie to help them take care of the tiny prince. They have asked William's former nanny, Jess Webb, to come out of retirement and lend a hand. Miss Webb cared for William and his brother Harry in the early 1990s. The Duke was seven when she was hired and about to start prep school when Charles and Diana's relationship disintegrated. Diana understood that someone like Jess would help instill her values of fairness and compassion and fun into her son's upbringing and just become even more important when the royal marriage began to unravel. A few years later, William wants to recreate the feeling of security that Jess gave him and passed it on to his own son. Jess spent five years working for the royal family. William remained close to his former nanny, ensuring that she was a guest of honor at his 21st birthday party and his wedding 11 years ago. October 2013, Prince George was much loved nanny Jess Lubb may not have announced as a guest of their christening. The expert nanny happily chatted away to Kate's father, Michael Middleton, and was most likely on hand to help the first time parents. During the baptism, Jessie's nanny instinct was also temporary and came to an end when George was eight months old. It was then that the Duke and Duchess hired Maria to care for him. Prince George and his siblings, Charlotte and Louise, are well cared for wherever they go by Nanny Maria. Maria isn't just any nanny though, she's what some might call a super nanny, trained in all aspects of childcare specifically for the lives of high profile families. That's right, Maria Teresa Turion Barallo was hired by the Wellses back in 2014 to help care for baby Princess George when he was around 8 months old. Kate and William's nanny attended England's prestigious Norland College in Bath, which was founded in 1892 by educational pioneer Emily Ward, and it's known for producing top-rated nannies, many famous and royal families hire the nannies from Norland. When Maria first joined the Wells' household, Kensington Palace released the following statement concerning the nanny's privacy. As an employee of the royal household, we would ask Please, that Maria's privacy and that of her family and friends be respected. We were so surprised to learn of this, but one word is thought to be forbidden in the home of William and Kate. Another Louise Heron spent a year at Norland College researching a documentary and told that there is one word that nannies are taught never to say while at work with children. The word is simply kids. Louise explained the word kid is banned, it's a mark of respect for the children as individuals. Given the fact this is a firm rule of the college, it's highly likely that Kate's nanny Maria also adopts it with the royal children. We imagine that caring for the prince and princess's children is both a rewarding and precarious job. The royals are no strangers to security threats. That's why Maria is highly trained in this niche area, says royal commentator Victoria Murphy.